Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you what do you look out for whenever you are trying to take a trade. This comes from a price action trading standpoint where you are actually just trying to look for an entry or exit based on price action. Now, this does not involve using any indicators and how you can best benefit from this video is to take down the notes. Okay, I will go through specifically six questions that you need to ask yourself. So questions control your focus when it comes to trading. So if you can ask yourself the same set of questions every time, then uh, you can approach your trading in a very consistent manner. So that's the purpose of today's video. So as I mentioned, I'll go through six questions uh, about that you need to answer before you take a trade. So question number one, what is the market structure? This is the first question that you always want to be asking yourself. Okay, in our free day trading guide, uh, the MPE strategy, it stands for market uh, condition or market structure, price level and entry. No matter what form of price action trading you're doing, you always want to focus on market structure. If you have been watching our videos for some time, you know that uh, we stress so much about market structure. Okay, it's like we are literally nagging about this concept all day. It's a simple concept. You are looking about whether uh, the market is trending, you know, uptrend, downtrend, ranging. But it is a concept that you need to always be doing. You need to always ask yourself, what is the market structure? Now, if you do not know what market structure is, you are totally new to Forex. Maybe this is the first video that you are watching. Okay, we have covered this in our free day trading guide. So the link is in the description over here. Just scroll down uh, to the description section of the YouTube channel and uh, you can find the link to download your free day trading guide. Okay, we talk about how to identify it. Okay, the first question is you want to identify is it in the uptrend, is it in a downtrend or is it in ranging? Because when you understand this, whether it's this, this or this, then you can know what I, what bias are you going to lean towards? So for example, if you're in your uptrend, you want to lean towards buying. If you're in a downtrend, you want to lean towards selling. And of course, if, if you are in ranging, uh, you can buy the support and you can sell the resistance. Okay, if you do not know this and you start selling in the uptrend or you start selling in a downtrend, then uh, this is how you lose money fast. So please do not uh, do that. Please always ask yourself, what is the market structure? Now that's question number one. Question number two is, what does the higher time frame say? As much as possible, you want to be trading with the higher time frame, not against the higher time frame trend. So we have many videos about how to do your multiple time frame analysis. So a brief overview about multiple time frame analysis is that you want to look at a more than one time frame. For example, if you are trading the H4 charts, you want to look at the daily chart as well because you want to try to align your H4 entry with your higher time frame. So let's talk about a hypothetical scenario over here. Let's say uh, the H4 is uh, ranging and the day one is uptrend. Now, which of this is going to be a better bet? Are you going to be buying uh, at the bottom of the range or selling at the top of the range? Which is a better bet? I think it goes without saying that uh, buying at the bottom of the range is a better bet. This one is a better bet because the higher time frame is in a uptrend. So this is what you want to do. You want to uh, look at the higher time frame and try to align your entry or your bias with the higher time frame. Okay, I will leave a link to the multiple time frame analysis video on the top right for you to watch in case you have not watched it. Now, by the way, if you're new to this channel and you like this content so far, really appreciate if you could just take three seconds to like this video. It will mean a lot to us. We're trying to hit 100,000 traders. We're trying to impact 100,000 traders, okay? So make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so that you will not miss a video just like this. Now, moving on to question three. You want to ask yourself, what is your support and resistance level? Earlier on, you ask yourself, what does the higher time frame say? But just because, let's say, the higher time frame is uptrend and the, the lower time frame is uptrend, does not mean that uh, you want to buy immediately. Okay, this is a very cool tip for you. A uh, pro tip. Okay, a pro tip is that the right trade at the wrong price level is still a wrong trade. And that is why Forex trading is so difficult because you can get the direction right. But if you get a price level wrongly and you get the timing wrongly, you will still lose money because you are using a stop loss. So if price spikes you out, you're, you're, getting, you're going to 
incur a loss. And I hope you're using a stop loss. Okay, you might say to me, okay, then if that's the case, then I don't use a stop loss. Now, you can't do that because if you don't put a stop loss, you just need one trade to trade massively against you and you're going to blow your account. Okay, so you need to always have a stop loss and that is why uh, you need to not just get the uh, price level right, you must get the timing right as well. It is a function of both price level and timing. So this is the part that a lot of people miss because they say, oh, both is uptrend, I just buy and do, they do not time the market. Right? Even if they do get, get it right, the, their stop loss is very wide and uh, the risk to reward is not that good. Okay, I will cover this point uh, later on. I'll just touch a bit more of that uh, later. But basically, in question number three, you want to identify where is the support and resistance. Again, how do you identify support and resistance is being taught in uh, the free day trading guide here. So uh, just check the description. Uh, you download it, it's free, there's no catch. So that is the question you want to ask yourself. And question number four, which is what I mentioned earlier on, is do you have a good reward to risk ratio? So ask yourself, how far away is your stop loss? Let me, sh let me just draw this. How far is your stop loss? Now, think about it this way. If you have a stop loss of say 30 pips, you just need price to move 30 pips to make one is to one, meaning that uh, for, every 30 for every dollar you risk, you make back a dollar. But let's say if you have a stop loss of 200 pips, which is a very wide stop loss for most currency pairs, now you're going to need price massively to move massively if you want to get a very good risk to reward. Let's say you are looking to make uh, 1 is to 3. 1 is to 3 means for every dollar that uh, you, you, you so-called invest or you risk, you are making $3. That means that uh, your risk is 200 pips. That means that you need price to move 600 pips. So this is a very big movement and there are, men, there are very few 600 pips, pips movement in the market, especially movement which is clean meaning that it just moves one direction without any major retracements so this is why uh, you need to really ask yourself is it worth taking the risk uh, just because you know you have uh, let's say you go through these steps uh, oh it's, it's uptrend uh, it aligns with higher time frame uh, it is at a support uh, but the stop loss for some reason it is uh, too big or let's say the take profit is too small then you you, you don't actually want to be taking uh, this trade because the risk to reward is not good. Okay, as a general rule of thumb, it's good to at least aim for us. one is to 1.5, if possible. Of, of course, uh, if you can get higher, the better. But uh, if you can get a decent risk to reward of 1 is to 1.5, that means that uh, you do not need to get it right half the time in order to make money. So this is uh, very important. You want to evaluate your risk to reward when it comes to trading. Question number five. What are the obstacles? Okay, price doesn't move in a straight line. As, as you know, price moves something like this. Let's say you're buying, it goes up, it retraces, it goes up, it retraces, it goes up, it retraces. So you don't expect price to just go this way. So what happens is that you need to anticipate when price is going to do a retracement and you need to make a decision whether you want to exit at this level or you want to hold and sit through the retracement and wait and just ride out the trend. There's nothing wrong with choosing either of the options, but you must make a decision. So if let's say that uh, this is the first obstacle and you map out at this the obstacle, when price comes here, you need to make a decision whether are you going to shift your stop loss to break even or are you going to take some profit. So as I written over here, now buyers, let's say you bought a, bought, bought a currency pair and it's in profit. Now as price approach the resistance, uh, you have two forms of opposing pressure. The opposing pressure number one is that uh, people like you, buyers, might choose to take profit. And when they take profit, uh, price will start to retrace. And the second opposing pressure is where the sellers may step in. Sellers may say, okay, this is a good resistance. I want to sell it down. So this is the opposing pressure that you need to take into account. You need to identify where is your obstacle or rather where is your next support or resistance. So in the case of um, buying, if let's say you are in a buy trade, you want to look for resistance uh, so that you can either exceed the trade before a price hits a resistance or you can shift your stop loss to break even. Of course, uh, for the opposite sellers, it's the same. If you are selling, uh, buyers, uh, buyers might step in at support or the sellers might take profit at support. So you want to identify where your support is and uh, make a plan as to what are you going to do when price hits that uh, obstacle level. 
Question number six, which is also the last question. This is more like a bonus question. So uh, this is a question that you should ask yourself when uh, you are in the trade. So more of like when you're in the trade and you're holding the trade, uh, should you, uh, is volatility increasing or decreasing? When you ask this question, it is basically telling you whether you should hold on to the trade or you should uh, close the trade. So what you want to do is uh, you want to look at the average true range indicator. Let me just highlight it. You want to look at the average true range indicator over here. So if it's sloping up, if your indicator chart is sloping up, doing something like this, then you can expect price to carry on moving because uh, the range of the candle is increasing. That means that there is money to be made. Now, just a gentle warning that this is not a tool for you to just enter. The ATI is not for you just to trade. It's just meant as a trade management tool, meaning that once you have asked the other five questions, you have applied your trading strategy, such as you know the MPE strategy, you applied that and you want to manage your position, then you use ATR. Okay, we had a recent video about how do you use this ATR to write massive trends. It's a very unique way. Okay, most traders don't know how to use the ATR that way. So if you have not watched that video, what I'll do is I will leave the link in the top right uh, corner for you to check out after this video, just in case you have not. And there you have it, the six questions that you should ask yourself when it comes to price action trading. Uh, this is a very good guide that uh, you can write, uh, you know, take some notes and do a checklist. So meaning that every time you take a trade, uh, you can do like a tick or you can uh, you know, fill out the blank. Like, uh, oh, what is the market structure uptrend? Okay, what does high time frame say? You can just answer all of this and whenever you go through this entire process and you're satisfied, then you take the trade. If something is not, you know, it's not being answered or there's something that you struggle to answer, then you do not want to take a trade. So this is how you can use these six questions. So just a brief recap. You ask yourself, what is the market structure? Is it in the uptrend, downtrend, or is it consolidation? What does the higher time frame say? Is your trade in alignment with the higher time frame? Where's your support and resistance levels? You want to plot uh, key levels where the price has reacted to previously. Then you want to look at uh, your risk to reward. How much are you risking to make uh, the potential reward that you will make? So if you risk 30 pips to make 60 pips, that is a risk to reward of one is to two. Then you want to ask yourself, what is the obstacles, which is the same as a support and resistance because you need to exit your trades as price does not go in a straight line up. It goes in a you know, series of up, higher high, higher low, or higher lows and higher highs. Lastly, you want to ask yourself, is volatility increasing or decreasing when it comes to uh, your trade management? Because this will tell you whether your trade has potential to move. Of course, if the ATR is you know, sloping down and the range is tightening up, then it, chances are uh, the market is consolidating and there's not much money to be made. So it's better off to close your position rather than uh, wait for price to uh, you know, break out. So hopefully this video is uh, helpful for you. Right? We love to hear your comments. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. We love to help you. Okay, as always, uh, we create a lot of videos like this to serve you. So uh, whatever feedback you tell us, we really take that into account because we do not just want to create videos which we think are beneficial. We want to create videos that are really beneficial to you and can help you in your trading journey. So please give us a thumbs up. We really, really appreciate it. Okay, it doesn't take more than three seconds. Right? Hit the subscribe button and make sure you download your day trading guide and check out our other videos that I've li linked to you uh, in this uh, video, okay, in the top right. Or if not, just look through our channels for other videos uh, such as this. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the Telegram channel.